scene one, Apple take two. What's the current wind speed? The wind's blowing at five miles per hour west right now. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Once you get up there though, that's when you really get going. Again, it, it's so hard to stay away from the sun. Maybe because it's so big. <laughs> but the wind, you know, it's about five miles an hour, maybe a seven mile an hour gust. You know, but this thing is so streamlined, it, it's, it seems to handle it really well. Almost on the verge of being like one of those uh, inducted uh, planes as far as the handling. Of course, it doesn't match it with the speed. <laughs> but you can get some nice flights on this thing, that's for sure. And I've been getting a fever to fly too. We got some altitude, we can kind of let up off the throttle a little bit. Start gliding, save some power, thus increasing our flight time. Yeah, baby, look at that. <laughs> Look at that baby. Yeah, let me tell you guys, uh, <laughs> you want a good hobby, this is it, man. Flying, you can't beat it. You know, I've never really been much of a fisherman like my uncles and stuff like that, but uh, as far as killing time, relaxing, unwinding, you know, I've found that uh, flying, you know, is the thing for me, you know. I think it's just fun and it's something that uh, you never really uh, get tired of I mean there's always room for skill improvement you can always level up to different type of craft you know I started out uh, flying helicopters because I love helicopters and then I moved on to drones you know but then uh, in my personal opinion uh, unless you're racing I thought that the drones had started getting too um, dumbed down or user friendly, however you want to put it, uh, because they're pretty much flying themselves. Uh, for me, the pleasure <laughs> is flying, not programming. You know, the, the, the thrill of uh, getting up there and just doing what you can, staying up there as long as you can, you know, with no help. Old school some people might call it and then I moved on to planes and I think I don't know as far as the, my favorite I would say hands down are the planes you know I've always been attracted to radio control planes I've always thought they were really cool and now uh, they've always been out of range as far as the price which even today they can be but now they're more affordable and uh, you could just have a lot of fun with them you know, doesn't cost you anything. Like, you know, every time you go out, like say for instance, bowling or golf or, you know, which are fun sports, but you know, every time you go out, you know, they cost. The only cost in this pretty much is keeping your batteries charged. up there doing this thing man and the wind is picking up it's 
definitely no big deal with this. It really isn't. It actually, if you have experience flying kites, you know, uh, it actually is better sometimes if the wind isn't too strong because you can actually take advantage of it and wind surf. That's what the birds do, the hawks. Watch them. They don't flap their wings. Look at that baby. All right, let's do another buzz. That was a buzz that was unintended. <laughs> I don't even think that was a legitimate buzz. That was more like a flyover. Let's see if we can do a flyover again. Fly by. <laughs> Whoa, shit. I am so sorry about that, son. It sounds like a TIE fighter. All right. Look at that. Decent range. Oh, don't hit the pole. <laughs> I thought I was gonna hit that pole, man. I came really close. I started, I get too happy with this thing, you know? There we go. Get some altitude. And that's why I say, you know, no matter what I'm doing, I always take this, uh, this plane with me because, uh, you know, it's reliable. It's fun. It's, it's just a go-to plane that has a good, uh, what, flight time on it? What, maybe 15, 20 minutes? And then if you, um, if you take advantage of the wind, you can probably get 25 minutes, I would say. So, yeah, this is a good go-to plane. Always keep it in your collection. When you go out flying at the field, just throw it in the car, man. Because believe me, if you have a crash and you only took one plane and you don't got all that preparation done, and a lot of times you got to get to the field early, you know, before the wind picks up. So, it, you know, it's really not fun. <laughs> if you're stuck at the field watching everybody have fun, you know, and you ain't got nothing to play with. So, yeah. This is a good go-to uh, craft. You guys see? I'm having a great time with it. Gain some more altitude. Okay. Let's prepare for our final approach. Tower control, we have the SU-35 approaching for landing. Okay. SU-35, you're clear to land. Okay, we're coming in. <laughs> Look at that. Like it's really approaching. We're coming in. Oh, <laughs> that was one of my worst landings. But hey, I'm having fun, so that's the whole point. Anyway, guys, thank you for coming out. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, SU-35. <laughs> I said the wrong thing. Anyway, guys, thank you for coming out and joining me on another flight with the FX820 SU35. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Well, I don't take shit from nobody. I'm Mrs. Braxton's favorite son. Joe, baby. Joe motherfucking Braxton. Try me one time, you understand? Get me working on the mother. Bitch gonna have to say.